Hey, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll, and uh, I just want to talk about, because I talk about these things a lot, of looking for indicators to tell you when to treat and where to treat. And here we are, and this often happens in, in April in North Carolina, where we see a lot of mole cricket damage, and it's from the, the adults that have overwintered, and they're getting ready to, uh, to, lay egg, to mate and lay eggs, and then what happens over time is that this damage all goes away. So there, there's two things we can get from this. And when you see this type of damage, that tells you an indicator of the, of the activity. And it's a real indicator that when you see this mound in, in, in April, that in two weeks, eggs are gonna be laid and eggs are gonna start to hatch. And we always emphasize treating when the, when the insects at their most susceptible stage, and that's when they're real tiny crickets. The other thing is, I always wanna encourage you to, to minimize the pesticide expenditures. And you can do that because like on this fairway, every where you see this damage, the infestation is going to occur right back on it. If this time of year you don't see this kind of damage on a fairway, there's a really low likelihood of chances that you're going to have a severe mole cricket infestation there, so you don't need to treat that. And you can go in and, and pick up the hot spots later in the year, and later in the year I'll talk about what chemicals to use. But using these signs or indicators, an example of mole crickets, is a real good way to get your timing perfect and only treat those areas that are going to have severe infestations. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking with you again soon.